Hello everyone, for those who do not know me, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> for those of you who do not know me, my name is Brandon Wilkinson. You guys saw me out here last cycle. I first ran in 2020 against playing Luke DeMeyer. I saw a problem. I was tired of sitting by and complaining. I tried to do something about it. Now, I did say in 2020, I'm going to lose this race. I'm not rich. I'm a regular guy. It's going to take a lot of legwork. So I spent the last four years campaigning and repairing. Last cycle, this county got cut halfway into my, or half this county got cut into my district. I was immediately out here coming to your events and meeting you guys. A lot of people in this room know. Well, now Blaine's retired. This is the four years that I've been working up towards. So now's the time. If you're tired of um, the political class we keep getting, why keep trying? Look back as far as you can remember. Everyone in here, probably everyone in here, no one in here is old enough to remember when we sent different kind of people. Why don't we try something different? You want someone who's gonna represent you? Send someone like you. I'm your neighbor, your coworker, your friend. I'm a working class American, a father, a husband, a Christian conservative, a leader in my church. I am what I believe this district needs. I think that my values represent the vast majority of this district. And I'll bet most of you resonate with all the videos that I have out there because, well, I get a lot of, a lot of hits, a lot of hits. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about what right now is the number one issue in this country, our border, period. All the other issues in the past have talked about, like our fiscal irresponsibility was our biggest threat, that's no longer the case. We have an estimated 22 million illegals in this country. Um, in reality, I would say it's probably over 30 based on other estimates. Uh, plus, that's not counting the unknown gotaways. So, at this point, I believe that as soon as the Democrats have control of the presidency, the House, and the Senate, they will grant blanket amnesty to the 30 plus million illegals that will be in this country at that time. They will lose a chunk of their base when they do that because there's a lot of left that do not support that. But the number is now big enough that when they grant that amnesty, the base that they lose and comes to our side won't be enough. We will be a union party. This country will be done. This is the last fight. This is the fight that matters. We will lose the country. No other issue is going to matter if we don't close the board, secure it. Uh, you may not like it, but we have to mass deport all of these illegals. Logistically, it's going to be a nightmare. I've been in logistics for 16 years. I know that. It's going to cost a fortune. We need to write that check. Because if we don't, what we're going to pay is our country. We're going to lose America, our Constitution, and our rights. That's a guarantee. That is what they're after. These Democrats, Joe Biden, these Democrats, they absolutely are the enemy of America. They want to erase our Constitution. They want to indoctrinate and take our children. I'm a father. I will die before I let that happen. What do I got? I got a few seconds left. <laughs> I'm a regular guy. I put a lot of my own money in. Put a lot of money in my 401k. Just pull another 15 grand that I'm putting in. I do need help. I can't do it alone. I do have a large Facebook following. That helps. It's a lot of free publicity, but that isn't going to do it. I need more help. Um, I will end with this. Decline to sign. Do not let these people come in and enshrine abortion into our Constitution. An amazing thing happened a few years ago when we outlawed abortion. God, that was so beautiful. I've been saying for years that, oh, I'm out of time. A few more seconds to finish. I've been saying for years that in the, in the future, they're gonna look back and they're called barbarians for, more, for murdering our children. I am so proud to be in Missouri where we no longer allow that. Thank you, Mary Elizabeth. Thank you.